I right, just finished painting up there up to about right here I had to scrape all that paint off and prime and paint I still got to scrape right here prime and paint but that'll be next a lot of work all right so today was super warm like 80 degrees super sunny and now all of a sudden the storm's coming but I want to show you guys what I've been doing to this house I can climb up here in the rain to show you all right so I started work on that a while back and I got up on the scaffold I can only get up to about right here and as you can see this paint is really chipping I'll try to get up a little higher okay see how chipped up that paint is that's really bad that's from years of not uh, painting the house and you can see what I did over here way nicer you see what I'm working with I got a, a 2 by 8 plank that I got to walk across with a ladder that's roped off at the bottom to this uh, dish to kind of keep it from falling over when I'm on it kind of scary but it's the only way I could think to get this done and so it's all been painted today it's already dry which is good because it's starting to rain now really bad and you can see my backyard the lightning so yeah but um it's a lot of work that I'm doing to this house and I'm trying to do it properly a lot of people would have just ripped this wood down and put some aluminum sockets up there but uh, this has really nice crown molding as you can see I mean they don't make this stuff anymore like this and I figured you know let's restore it rather than rip it all out and I cocked my edges here to keep the rain from going inside underneath the aluminum siding the aluminum siding I'm going to be painting at a later time here's my little walk plank which is quite scary too you gotta literally kind of walk you know just like that ever so slowly and uh, yeah I was up here scraping away getting off all that old as you can see I got like 98% of that old paint off almost 99% um, a lot of work but it sure is worth it at the end because look at that it's just beautiful when you're when you're done and right here I got a little uh, walking space that I can actually get up on and kind of put my hand up here and with the scraper in one hand I can able to scrape right here which is it's a little bit hard but eventually I'm only gonna be able to reach up to about right here and then I'll have to get the ladder over there put it back over here and do the same thing rope it up just like I did over there which is kind of dangerous but like I said the only way to get this done properly is you got to get up there and, and just do it and get it done and uh, this is like 30 feet up homes that are really tall are quite a struggle and if you're wondering why I didn't paint this yet I'm still contemplating if I want gutters up here or not if I'm gonna leave the box gutters not sure what I'm gonna do yet because I know the box gutters uh, they are leaking a little bit so years and years of them putting just rolls of roof up top there's like three layers up just in the box um, area boxed out area so I'm not sure if I'm gonna put a gutter if I put a gutter I have to take this really nice crown molding off which I don't know what it, it looks like it's made out of oak I'd have to take this off and just put a plain piece of two by six or something and then put the gutter on there and then get rid of the, the box gutters which is up here well the box gutters that have been covered up with roofing roll felt and then what I would be doing if I was going to do it that route with gutters is I'll put OSB at the end the two feet and then fiberglass over that and put gel coat and then put gutters and it would never leak again a lot of people use this rubber stuff out here I don't know how good it is it seems all right but um you could also do fiberglass you can fiberglass over OSB and then gel coat over that and that also works as well but yeah a lot of uh, a lot of nights not sleeping trying to figure out what I want to do on this house
and as you can see up there it's leaking like I said through the box gutter that's why I never put a piece of wood there because I knew it was leaking leaking right in there that's why it's all crappy too the paint just about to show you closer all right see that dripping right out so that you can see right there that box gutter is not even working it's got a, a leak in the roof it's just going right through there so if I would have put a piece of wood replacement there it would have just I have to fix the roof first before I start putting replacement pieces and you see right there it's dripping so it's just it's a mess up there and I'll do a video of that in a minute I'll make a video of that later how bad the roof is from the top at least where the gutters were and I should have made a how-to video on how to set up this scaffold by yourself. You can see I got three, three layers, four layers, including the top, you know, bar uh, railing. And you can see how I got it angled here because it's on a slope. Should do a video of that in the future because I couldn't find any videos on YouTube how to set this thing up, at least not by yourself. All right, here's the little attic here. It's a real short attic. I can barely stand up in here without hitting my head. Um, it's just the style that it has. You can see over there where this, there's a uh, light. That's where the piece of wood where I haven't replaced it and where it's leaking. Uh, luckily I have a, an access door here to get to the top. So, see if I can get up in here. Got a little lock that I gotta take off. Alright, let's pull this thing off. It's just raining, you know, it's all sunny again. Alright. Let's show you what I'm talking about. So here's the gutter. It's an old box gutter style. Where somebody added the gutters into the box gutter you can see there's a gutter opening there and uh, this thing runs it works fairly fairly good not too bad it had a lot of patches so a lot of places where like I patched this one when I moved in with a piece of uh, aluminum but you got to put a lot of tar down all the way around your nails and stuff. I did this one as well. This one was already done with rubber when I got here. And all it is is just a, it's just those rolls of roof that they just laid out and then they nailed it off on the corner on the edge of the wood. But as you can see it's got a lot of, see all this all these patches I had to do? All these I did myself because it's leaking through the through the uh, box gutters. And you got places like right here where it's kind of standing water. It's not really going that way. So it's it's not really working. It's probably just when it overflows, it overflows off the side there. You got right here is another little crack where water's penetrating in there and going through the soffit. I did this one. I probably need to do another one there if I don't fix this soon. And again, this is 30 feet up, so there's my scaffold. And here's the other gutter right here. And you've seen the water is not, it's leaking through here. I put a lot of tar in here, so I'd assume it's getting in through some cracks here. Trying to see where, but you can't. It's hard to see. It could be going through any little crack. And you can see that this it's kind of sitting water. It's not working all that great. So I think the gutter itself is working, but. I don't know if it's the slope is off or because it's, it's lumpy there, kind of high there. 
And you got another crack that I I did, but it just that tar just cracks. Eventually, after a few months, six months to a year, you'll just get a crack and then the water just seeps in there again. So I don't know what I want to do up here. If I'm gonna just get another roll, it seems like that's all they've been doing. It's putting rolls here. I don't know how long they last. And you can see there's a big lump here. So I'm assuming they, they lift these up to get that roll under there. I don't know if they nail it off or what. Uh, I put these in years ago and they usually use uh, tar. And then you lay it on the tar and then you nail, you nail your nails. But I'm not a roofer guy, so uh, all this is new to me. But it definitely needs to be fixed. If anybody's got any clue on how this, a good way to fix this gutter, uh, leave it in the comments, please. Because, like I said, I'm not a roofer, but uh, I'm trying to learn to do things all by myself, and uh, I want to do it the, the right method. Well, what I was thinking to do is to get rid of this box gutter, put in some some OSB from about like right here, where the lump is going to the wood and then just glassing it you know some people use a rubber but I, I would do fiberglass since I, don't, I know how to work with fiberglass they do that a lot in England Britain uh, you only have to put like one layer of glass and then you gel coat over it and that's waterproof it'll never have a problem and if it does you get a crack a hairline crack like this thing does you just sand it and put more fiberglass and gel coat in there a lot uh, easier to do in my opinion than uh, having to put tar in there that just keeps failing every six months and there is a hollow spot in here I'm assuming and that's probably why it keeps breaking in the middle because like I said this was probably one of those tin um, lead you know box gutters back in the day it's I don't know if it's still there it probably is it's probably so deteriorated what I wish they made is I wish they made like an OSB that was like in a circle that you could use for these gutters. That would be a really good invention if somebody can make OSB like, you know, like for gutters, box gutters. So you could just lay it in there and it would have the shape. That way you could just glass in your box gutter. And uh, fiberglass will, you know, be watertight. And at the same time, you'll have your gutter and it'll be waterproof and you'll be able to glass right onto that, uh, to that OSB that's curved. Because they don't make OSB unless it's flat. If I put a flat piece here, the water is going to run off and I'm not going to be able to use it for a gutter. And that's the problem with that. But again, because I got such a crown, nice detailed wood there, I don't know if I want to go that route because then it's probably going to need a gutter. Because if not, the water is just going to probably cascade down and go down the wood and then rotten it all up again. So again, if you got any comment um, comments about what I should do, leave them down there for me. I'll read it. And I'll take it into consideration. And again, here's here's some of the here's a new piece that they did, only like four feet. And you can see they they glued this. You can't even pull this up. It's glued to it, so that's a tight seal. That's done properly. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking just to get some more. This roll would be fast and cheap. Just to roll out a big long thing all the way to the other end, and just. Uh, you know put it under the shingle here and just tar it in so it's tight watertight and I think that would work for at least I don't know five years it would last I would think as long as you don't step on it see how this can be it's like there's air under here that's when you if you step on it you just rip it and then it's no good see they kind of shaped it over here going towards the gutter so I don't know is this Jacob leave me a comment on what you think I should do on this guys because I'm not a roofer but uh, I gotta take care of this problem because uh, there's no point of fixing the soffits and restoring it all beautiful and nice and then it's just gonna be leaking through the soffits again and destroy the paint I just did so I gotta get this done immediately in the next month or so crazy times guys I've been hearing the Police and ambulance drive by like crazy all day long. But there's my backyard. 
Seems like the rain is gone already. So that's good. But anyways, that's it for this uh, old house that I'm restoring. Built in 1867. Take care, guys. To the next video of this old house that I'm re renovating. That's where I'm at.